Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through how to use these results to integrate hyperbolic functions. So remember in the last video we can only use these results if k, a and b are all constants and if the term over here is a linear. So in other words the term over here is in the form ax plus b as well. Okay, so let's take um, an example or some examples. So example one, let's take a ruler, red pen, underline that. So question is, let's integrate the following. Okay, so part A, for example, let's integrate um, three hyperbolic sine two x. So three hyperbolic sine two x. So over here, as you can see, the term in front, so in other words, our k is three, so three is a constant, so we're okay here. The term over here is a linear, so the power of x is one, so it's of the form ax plus b, so it's a linear. So in other words, we can use this result over here that I derived, okay? So remember, it's going to be the constant divided by the coefficient of x, okay? And whenever we integrate hyperbolic sine, it's hyperbolic cos, that comes from the standard result, okay? And then we'll add c at the end, as we have no limits, so we're dealing with an indefinite integral, okay? So it's three divided by coefficient of x which is 2 when we integrate hyperbolic sine it's hyperbolic cos 2x and then add c okay so let's try another one part b integration of okay um, 7 hyperbolic tan 7x with respect to x so the term in front is a constant the term here is a linear, it's of the form ax plus b. So I'm gonna have seven, so that's our k, divided by coefficient of x is seven, okay? Integration of hyperbolic tan, that's the standard result, it's ln of the modulus hyperbolic cos seven x, okay? Add c, as we're dealing with an indefinite integral, so we can cancel these two sevens, giving us ln hyperbolic cos seven x plus c. Okay, so that is a solution to that integral. Okay, let's try another one, part c. Whenever we integrate hyperbolic um, sine squared three x, so in particular, just as with um, any trigonometric integral, so whenever you integrate a, hyper, uh, a trigonometric sine squared or a trigonometric cos squared, you need to use an identity, okay? So in this case, this follows the same principle, we need to use a hyperbolic identity to integrate hyperbolic sine squared or hyperbolic cos squared, okay? And the identity is similar in the trigonometric case the identity for hyperbolic cos 2x. So the identity in this case is 1 plus 2 hyperbolic sine squared x. Okay, so that's the identity for us. Okay, now when we rearrange that, uh, 2 hyperbolic sine squared x is equal to hyperbolic cos 2x minus 1. Okay. I don't have uh, a two coefficient here, so let's get rid of this two by dividing both sides by two. So hyperbolic sine squared x will be one over two hyperbolic cos two x minus one over two. So I'm dividing by two throughout. Now you can observe that I have a three here, but I don't have a three here. To get 3 here, just as with a trigonometric 
um, with trigonometric sine squared 3x, you can multiply these terms by 3s. Okay? So if I multiply these terms by 3, so you need to multiply throughout here and here by 3, we're going to have hyperbolic sine squared x times 3 is 3x that's equal to 1 over 2 so I hope you can see that hyperbolic cos 3 times 2x 6x minus half so remember to get the 3 here multiply just these terms by 3's okay so now instead of integrating hyperbolic sine squared 3x let's integrate this term instead so let me continue here so let's integrate 1 over 2 hyperbolic cos 6x minus 1 over 2 with respect to x so the term in front is a constant this term is of the form ax plus b so I can use the result that I stated in the previous video so it's going to be k which is 1 over 2 divided by the coefficient of x which is 6 okay when I integrate hyperbolic cos that's the standard result that's hyperbolic sine 6x okay and remember when we integrate half it's going to be half x add c okay so if I continue on the reverse so simplifying so 1 over 2 into 6 is 12 hyperbolic sine 6x minus half x add c so let's write that down so we'll get 1 over 12 hyperbolic sine in this case let's remind ourselves 6x so 6x minus half x add c. So that is the solution to that integral. Right, let's try another example. So in this case, that was part c. Let's call this part d. So let's integrate um, hyperbolic cot squared 2x. So hyperbolic cot squared 2x. So like with trigonometric cot squared, to integrate cot squared or tan squared, we need to use an identity. So if you want to integrate sine squared or cos squared, okay, or hyperbolic sine squared, hyperbolic cos squared, just like in the trigonometric case, you need to use the identity for hyperbolic cos 2x, okay? And if you, if you want to integrate tan squared or cot squared, you need to use an identity as well okay so to integrate cot squared here we're going to be using the identity hyperbolic cot squared x okay minus one equals hyperbolic cos x squared x okay so that is the identity um, for us okay so if we rearrange this for hyperbolic cot squared hyperbolic cot squared x will be hyperbolic cos x squared x plus 1 okay and just as with the last example okay in order to get so in order to get 2x okay we need to multiply these terms by 2 okay so we did that we did a similar step in the last example here when we integrated hyperbolic sine squared 3x so over here at this stage we multiplied only these terms by 3 to get the 3x similar step happens here to get 2x over here you need to multiply these two terms only by 2 so let me take a red pen so multiply by 2 these two terms here so if we do so, we'll get hyperbolic cot squared 2 times x 2x equals hyperbolic cos x squared 2 times x is 2x plus 1. 
So let's integrate this term instead. So if we integrate hyperbolic cos x squared 2x plus 1 with respect to x. So I hope, hope you can see that. So the term in front of this function is 1. So that's our k. So k, our constant, is 1. This term here is a linear. It's of the form ax plus b. So it's going to be k, which is 1, over coefficient of x, a, which is 2. Okay. Whenever I integrate cos x squared, okay, that's a standard result. So it's a minus. So let me put the minus here. So minus hyperbolic cot 2x. Okay. And when you, if you integrate 1, that's simple. It's 1x or x at c. Okay. So that should be the solution. So that should be the solution to that integral.